This is the sagittal section of male pelvis. The different parts of the bladder are, this is the apex, base of the bladder, this is the base, inferolateral surface and this is the superior surface. So apex gives attachment to the median umbilical ligament. Base, it is related to the seminal vesicle and vas deferens. This is the rectum. Inferolateral surface, it is related to pelvic surface of the pubic bone. On the superior surface, the peritoneum covers the superior surface and is reflected onto the anterior surface of the rectum. This is the rectum. Onto the, uh, it is reflected onto the anterior surface of the rectum to form the rectovesical pouch. And this is the neck of the bladder. It is surrounded by the prostate gland. This is the prostate gland. Now we can see the interior of the bladder. The mucosa of the interior of the bladder, it is uh, thrown into different folds or it is thrown into different folds because the mucosa is loosely attached to the submucosa. But in the posterior surface, Posterior surface, posterior part of the interior, interior, the mucosa is firmly adherent to the muscle layer. That area is known as the internal trigone. It is bounded superiorly by the interuretric ridge of nursia. This is the internal trigone. It is bounded superiorly by the interuretric ridge of mercia. And the superolateral angles are formed by the op formed by the opening of the ureters and inferiorly the triangle in, uh, inferiorly the inferior angle is formed by the internal urethral meatus this is the internal urethral meatus or the urethra begins at the neck of the bladder now we can see the different parts of the urethra or now we can see the uh, features of the urethra. In female, the urethra is short. It is about 4 cm long and begins at the internal urethral meatus and ends at the external urethral meatus. But in males, the, prost uh, the urethra has got different parts. This is the pre-prostatic part that begins from the neck of the bladder to the base of the prostate. Base of the prostate is here and the apex of the prostate is directed downwards. So the pre-prostatic part of the urethra begins from the neck of the bladder till the base of the prostate. And the prostatic urethra traverses through the prostate gland. And next is the bulb, bulbar part, membranous part that passes through the urogenital diaphragm. And next is the pineal part or spongy part. The pineal part presents two dilatations. This is the bulbar, bulbar fossa. That, traverses through, that passes through the bulb of the penis, bulbar fossa, and in the glans penis, it presents a dilatation known as navicular fossa. This is a section taken in coronal plane. You can see the interior of the bladder here. There are numerous folds. Mucosa shows numerous folds. And to, in the posterior part, you can see the internal trigone. This is the interurethric ridge of Mercia. And the super, superiorly, the trigone is bounded by the interurethral ridge of Mercia. On either side, it is bounded by the urethro urethral ridge. Here, the mucosa is firmly adherent to the muscle layer. And this is the prostate gland. You can see the prostatic urethra passing through the prostate gland. And this is in the uh, prostatic urethra. Here you can see a median elevation. This is known as the Vero Mondanum, on either side of which the ejaculatory ducts duct opens. This is the prostatic urethra. So urethra, uh, this is the pre-prostatic part, prostatic urethra and the penile urethra. This is the sagittal section of male pelvis. The different parts of the bladder are, this is the apex, 
base of the bladder this is the base inferolateral surface and this is the superior surface so apex gives attachment to the median umbilical ligament base it is related to the seminal vesicle and vas deferens this is the rectum inferolateral surface it is related to pelvic surface of the pubic bone on the superior surface the peritoneum covers the superior surface and is reflected onto the anterior surface of the rectum this is the rectum onto the it is reflected onto the anterior surface of the rectum to form the recto vesical pouch and this is the neck of the bladder it is surrounded by the prostate gland this is the prostate gland now we can see the interior of the bladder the mucus of the interior of the bladder it is uh, thrown into different folds or it is thrown into different folds because the mucosa is loosely attached to the submucosa but in the posterior surface posterior surface posterior part of the interior interior the mucosa is firmly adhered to the muscle layer that area is known as the internal trigon it is bounded superiorly by the interureteric ridge of nursia this is the internal trigon it is bounded superiorly by the interureteric ridge of mercia and the superior lateral angles are formed by the op, formed by the opening of the ureters and inferiorly the triangle in, uh, inferiorly the inferior angle is formed by the internal urethral meatus this is the internal urethral meatus or the urethra begins at the neck of the bladder now we can see the different parts of the urethra or now we can see the uh, features of the urethra in female the urethra is short it's about 4 cm long and begins at the internal urethral meatus and ends at the external urethral meatus but in males the prost uh, the urethra has got different parts this is the pre prostatic part that begins from the neck of the bladder to the base of the prostate base of the prostate is here and the apex of the prostate is directed downwards so the pre prostatic part of the urethra begins from the neck of the bladder till the base of the prostate and the prostatic urethra traverses through the prostate gland and next is the bulb bulbar part membranous part that passes through the urogenital diaphragm and next is the pineal part or spongy part the pineal part presents two dilatations this is the bulbar bulbar fossa that traverses through that passes through the bulb of the penis bulbar fossa and in the glans penis it presents a dilatation known as navicular fossa so that's about the important features of bladder urethra bladder and urethra Thank you.